Well, TGIF, and welcome back to Nacho Stuff. We got some stuffs here in the back of the trailer this morning. This is stuff that we started breaking down yesterday. We were gonna try to get a second uh, little tiny bit back to Jeff, but it poured yesterday afternoon. I was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so we kept it and we're gonna add it to the today's total. We're hoping to find some stuff. It does not look promising. It's been pretty light out here so far this morning, but things can change in a heartbeat, right? Let's go find some junks. Got ourselves a car seat and not of the child variety, of the big people variety. I'm gonna pop on my new gloves. These things will definitely protect my hands. The only bad thing about these gloves is they're gonna be a little bit warm still for a little bit, but it's worth the extra protection, I think when I need them. Look at these things though. I got, I got protection on the back, I got protection on the front. These are way better than any glove I've ever owned. Oh my gosh, you have a heavy little chair. So the things that are nice about these, I was trying them on yesterday, is they're super sturdy, but they still have flexibility to them, unlike some other gloves. So uh, let's go. I don't know, we might be taking this rider, guys. Look how nice she is. That thing was like indoor use only. And it's the Hulk. And it's got the battery. And she's full of water. <laughs> okay, let's see. You go here. I don't think she, I don't know if she works or not. We're gonna take the whole kit and do it all. We'll take a better, better look at her. If not, we'll at least harvest the battery out of her. Oh, don't lose the seat. Get back on there, Mr. Seat. What we got here? I think this thing works. If my knee wasn't messed up, I would uh, definitely. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not even hitting the ground, man. That's a legit little trampoline we got going there. Uh, let's leave it in this direction. You guys didn't know I spoke French, did you? Ha ha! <laughs> I know. Just pissed off all the French people. Man, these aren't big piles, but this little neighbor's got a lot of little, little tidbits in it. I'll take them. Way better than your average Friday. Got ourselves a one-armed wheelbarrow. One-armed bandit! It's a nice looking barrel besides the broken arm on it. We're in that neighborhood that has a refrigerator up by the garage for like three months now. Still sitting there. We're gonna get ourselves a car jack. No, we're not gonna car jack someone. We're gonna car get a car jack she should be heavy right oh yeah that's some nice weight there kids missing all its wheels though kind of different i sometimes skip this little neighborhood because it's not very big it's only like maybe 20 houses or so it's just like a long little loop but hey we decided to roll the dice this week and we paid there ain't no cord though. Ooh, that smells good. Someone likes their fabric cross softener. Somebody does. You come up here, brother. Yeah, we don't normally take the uh, jack was there, so we had to take it. It would have been lonely all by itself. This is from yesterday, it did not get broken down. Joink. Now this is a dryer, so it's not quite as heavy as a, as a washing machine, but that's okay. Metals is metals. Heavy in that trampoline, I'll tell you that. And like that, we're out here. Yep, we'll 
We'll take some staples. Well, they're not actually staples. They'd be huge staples, wouldn't they? <laughs> Bed rails. Staple as in something we find on a regular basis. Look at these little guys. We'll take you two. You can come right over there, I think. Onward. I'm sure if this is a PC or a shredder, what we got here? Shredder. Shredder. Oh, you light little shredder too. Wow. Micro size. This one's a little sloppy and it's probably gonna be steel, but on slow days like Fridays, you gotta take what you can find. Oh, there's a lady there in that car. Okay, she can get out. You guys come down here. You come here. You come here. Now you guys can come. Yes, you and you. Uh, so test this one. This one might actually be aluminum. No, come on. Man. You don't find our aluminum patio stuff. Yeah, like I said, you don't find aluminum patio stuff. Wishful thinking now. Onward! Well, far from a home run day, this is one of the better Fridays we've had in a long time. Go and get another washing machine. Or a dryer. Or a dryer. It's missing the knobs. This one's pretty nice too. It's a Maytag. The problem I've got is I've lost my dishwasher, or my dishwasher, my washing machine person. I need to find myself a new one. And one of them has no monies right now. And the other one's gone MIA. Look at, why? Why? <laughs> Did I say you could leave? Get back here, Mr. Fan Motor. How, I mean, that was like all the way up there, I thought. Sheesh. If it's not tires, it's fan motors. I don't know where you came from. Oh, that was probably on that sink, wasn't it? Oh, these are gonna, let's try to turn you dish way. See if we can go too wide here. I need Kev's trailer. Kev's trailer is one foot wider than mine. So he can go too wide. I oftentimes can't go too wide. It's just not quite fat enough. This one might fit though. If not, we just might have some stackable machines today. Uh-oh. Off of this, this will sure. I don't know. I don't want it to stack them if I don't have to. It feels like it should fit, right? Yes, yes, damn, boy, too big. All right, I think I'll take the back off one of these, if not both of these, so I can go too wide. We'll see you guys next stop. Best Friday ever. Look at this. So we took the backs off and they still wouldn't fit. They're too fat. So now we got two more. <laughs> so we're gonna like just prop them here on the side and strap them down. What other choice do we got, man? Because these ones aren't even flat. We can't even really stack. We could probably stack that on that and then, huh? Let's see how heavy they are first and we'll go from there. Everyone's like taking them partially apart in the backs too. 
Interesting. This one's been here for a bit too. The grass is yellow. That tells me this has been here for at least a couple of days. That blows my mind. Interesting. Maybe the strap will squeeze her down. I don't know that we're keeping any of these. These definitely look on the older side. Plus, we don't even got a washer on. These are mostly dryers. Oh, by the way, when I took the back off that one, there's about just shy of a dollar a change, I think. All dimes and pennies. Um. The old cab truck. This one's got money in it too. Shoink. All right, let's move on. This Friday will not disappoint, man. Time for some beef fun, huh? Oh, those are the springs. Come on, guys. Come on. Friday we've had in a long time. I am not complaining, but is it Friday? <laughs> what is going on? Where are all these appliances come from? Uh, oh, could you be stainless on top of it? Wouldn't that be amazing? This is a chunky guy too, isn't it? Yeah. Walk you over. Got to figure out where we're gonna put you. Make sure all the water out of you. It's a heavy little dishwasher. All right, there looks like the spot, huh? This is crazy town. I cannot believe we got a Friday here. I think this might all be extruded too. I don't know if this flashing is steel or aluminum. I think this is aluminum. I don't know. It's the light, but it doesn't quite have the right. Now it's aluminum. Wow. Look our other stuff, there's extruded. I should have known this morning. So on the way out to the soft ground this morning, I passed this house and it was still wet from all the dew on top of it. 
and the sun was coming up and it was so hot on the roof that it started it looked like it was on fire it had so much so much steam coming off of it and then i drove past a school i don't know it doesn't seem politically correct to me i saw a sign that said please don't feed the wildlife and it was like right outside the playground area seems kind of weird right i'll put a picture of it right here like why are you calling our kids wildlife Onward. You know we're coming in for this one. Because we're fans of fans here at Nacho Stuff. So please take a moment. Oh, if I can stay. And smash that like button. Because that's what we do when we find a fan. Hashtag fan of a fan. Alright guys, we made it to the yard. The only bad part about today is we don't have a washer or dryer guy that we can drop these off to. So... They're more like probably eight or ten dollar bills versus maybe twenty or thirty. Really need to find myself a new guy. Uh oh. I'm gonna take this one off uh, to get to that pin. Ouch, that's hot. Wow is that? Sticking. 
Almost got me. I found that nice kettleball the other day and somebody broke it. No one's fessing up to breaking it at the house. So it must have broke itself. Whew. break down a little bit maybe. I'll catch you over at Jeffy's. I guess he would tell me how much time I got left. Boop. See you Jeff. Let's do some NFJ. Where's your silver plaque, sir? Long time, brother. Long time. At this rate, like five years, probably. At this rate? Yeah, yeah five, years. five years. Maybe more. Maybe more. It's gotta have that one, that 
Got to got got get, 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 get that one great video, you know? You already have that. 100,000 is not, I mean, it's not like a million. 150,000 views is a lot. Is this stainless? So easily distractible. Same price, right? Yep. We're taking this pump today, finally. We're floating around back here for all week. What? That air pump. That's yet. that's extru that's extruded. Get off my extruded! <laughs> No, that's that's plastic, right? Yeah. No, I just took it off because I want to get the wires, and but then I want to make sure that I got to you in time, so I, I didn't. I didn't. You ready for motors? Yeah. You want them on the scale or in the box? On the scale. <laughs> I got more. Oh, that's dirty. You haven't done dirty yet. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got more clean up here. Hang on, I got more clean up here. Ugh. Another 26 pounds of clean. <laughs> huh? You ready for extruded? Yep. Ah! Making a mess. I'm teaching you how to deal with bad customers. <laughs> we have done that before. There's one guy who comes on a bike. Uh huh. The guy that pulls a little trailer? Yeah. Yeah, Jill, he, he tried to ar argue with Jill, and Jill said, I'm not going to allow you here no more. Really? Yep. Yeah. See, the customer is not always right. That's it, brother. Say, huh? Yeah, I think so too. I did, I did probably did like 1,300 pounds in shred, I'm guessing. 36, 13? 106 in shred, I don't think so. Oh, in shred? No. Oh, total, total. 1,200, I thought I had more than that. Why couldn't a sunflower ride its bike? It lost its pedals. Oh, my wife sent me one the other day. Let me see if I still got that one. Uh, where'd she send it to me at? 
We gotta do her joke. I was robbed by six dwarves. Six dwarves. Robbed by six dwarves? Not happy. Not happy. <laughs> what did the hunter eat while he was looking for a deer? Grass. Sour dough bread. Sour dough. <laughs> <laughs> My fat parrot died. I think you said this one. If your fat parrot died. Oh, that's what it was. It's a huge weight on your shoulders. That's what it was. You, you, that's a repeat. You gotta put a check mark next to those, Jeffy. <laughs> All right, I might be back. I might not. We'll see you the afternoon goes. Hopefully, we don't get that rain again. That's why I didn't come back yesterday. That rain yesterday kept me away. So, yeah, it was. All right, brother. If I don't see you, have a great weekend. All righty, guys. We're waiting paid. What a Friday. Fridays are normally a little bit sluggish for us, and it started off that way, but man, we started finding machines and they just kept coming. Love it. The only thing I don't love is we could have probably made double, if not triple off those suckers if we had a guy. We need a guy. Time to find a guy. Anywho, let's jump in his receipt and get on to our weekend. Tim, 1,200 pounds. I thought we had a little more than that, really, but uh, we'll take it. Uh, six cents a pound for $72. Clean aluminum were the that flashing, those poles. I think that's it. 14 pounds, 40 cents a pound for 560. Electric motors came from the ceiling fans. Uh, there was a couple that we didn't break down as well, but uh, they were the ones we had back there. Uh, 25 pounds, 22 cents a pound for 550. Irony light was the screens. What else do we have dirty? We had something else we threw over there. Dirty the aluminum, not much. Eight pounds, 28 cents a pound for 224. And then extrusion was the stuff we broke down, those, those pieces we've had for, I don't know, two, three days. We broke those down yesterday. Plus we found, I don't know, four or five pieces of that long stuff. 32 pounds, 67 cents a pound for 21.44 for a grand total of 106.78. So we're knocking our number out of the park on a Friday. Yes. No pickers though, so, but uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a solid Friday. We had a, a really like a trailer full of stuff. So uh, I don't know, we might go down and break some stuff down and hopefully uh, bring some more back up here before the end of the day. But uh, it really depends on uh, whether the weather cooperates. We tried to do that yesterday and it just never happened. So it just sat the trailer and uh, like I said, so the stuff we turned in today was from uh, stuff we broke down yesterday. But we're gonna continue breaking things down and try to get things cleaned up. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to mash that thumbs up if you haven't already. It uh, helps YouTube uh, know that you guys appreciate the content. And hopefully uh, get some more people in here to join the party. So uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, and remember, it's uh, nacho stuff. But that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until Monday, be safe, be happy, enjoy your time off. And I'll catch y'all on Monday.